and welcome back to the channel or if it's your first time here welcome especially I'm Sally and I'm so glad you've stopped by I am also so excited for today's video because I have been scheming for like the past year about this but no one's known ever since um, Samuel and I decided that we were gonna go on our European adventure it was like okay I want to create a European capsule wardrobe because we're trying to travel with just carry-ons um, and so I can only take so much and also I have really found over the past few years that I am happiest um, when my wardrobe stays pretty minimal. I hate having to sort through pieces that um, I'm not going to wear or that I don't love or like give it the time and consideration and I just feel more confident um, and put together as a whole when I'm working with fewer pieces uh, that are higher quality and that can be paired together in different ways. So I have been slowly kind of curating this collection, thrifting a ton of it, um, investing in some different pieces. And then I have some basics as well that are just more affordable. You'll see I have a few Target tank tops. I think there is a time and a place um, for all of it. But all that goes to say, I'm going to take y'all through and show you the different pieces that I have collected. I'm um, in the very end of the video. I am going to put together a little montage of some of my favorite ways to style these um, different pieces together. So make sure you stick around for that. But starting out with the base layer, the first part of this is a little boring, just some socks, good old Bomba socks here. Those aren't the Bomba socks, but these are love them. They're an investment, but they are fantastic, especially if you're going to be on your feet all day and sweating. It's like your foot's getting the nicest little hug. So bunch of socks here, bunch of underwear here. Um, nothing remarkable about this, just, you know, lineless, uh, a few different cuts for different outfits. And what I do want to take a minute to talk about in more depth are my bras. So I mentioned a while back that I got some bras from Lively and that I would let y'all know what I think. Here I am letting you know what I think. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I really love this product. Um, and it's been a huge blessing to me because I find it really difficult to find bras that fit me, that are comfortable. I honestly don't need a whole bunch a whole bunch of padding or support or anything. I'm technically a 32D, but note that because my band size is so small, um, a D really isn't that big, uh, but it can be difficult because of my sizing to find bras that really fit the bill and Lively uh, did just that. So I am a big fan of a versatile bralette. I apologize, I don't remember the name of um, any of these styles, but you can see this has a cute little double strap here, little gold detailing and a little bit of extra support with this bit of fabric in the middle. Um, great to wear under tank tops, great to wear, I think even if you were wearing um, like a bodysuit sort of situation or like overalls, um, this could be a cute little piece as well. Great for lounging. So I love this and all of the bras that I got are actually free of underwire, but the next two are lined. So they have a really light like lining, I don't know, padding, but it's not like built up or anything. So this is a bralette technically as well, but it does again have that lining, have that padding, um, super cute green color, super cute cut. And you do um, usually wanna wear it with a shirt that's a little bit thicker because of the line right here. So it's not visible through your shirt, but I feel like this is super cute and 100% super comfy. And then this is probably the most versatile um, piece that I picked up and it is I think the deep V I may actually know the style on this one I think it's the deep V bra but it also has kind of a lower back um, so you can wear it with dresses and shirts that are cut in a lot of different ways and one of my favorite features about this uh, and a lot of their bras is that here on the back you have a little clip you can snap it together and this will come in handy with um, a few of the pieces that I'm gonna be bringing with me on my trip. And then last little base layer piece, 
this is not cute, not fancy. It's just a little bandeau situation, um, which will work with a few shirts um, that I will be bringing. Okay, so that's the base layer. Let's get into fitness clothing. We'll just kind of go quickly through this. I brought two pairs of leggings. I brought one pair of shorts. I brought two sports bras and one fitness tank. Both of my sports bras are ones that I'm comfortable wearing without a tank top. Um, and that was, you know, deliberate because I can pair it with the tank or without. So this is just a burgundy a little bit more supportive Lululemon sports bra. There we go. Lululemon is so expensive, as y'all know. Um, since I was working as a trainer, I got a really awesome discount there, but I just don't. It's You can get good fitness clothing elsewhere, but I also feel like at the same time, it's worth the investment sometimes. It just depends. Okay, but then <laughs> this is my Athleta sports bra, which I love even more. I'm not usually a huge like color person, but I think this one is so cute in this kind of pastel Easter egg green color. Um, has a beautiful strappy back. I think it's incredibly flattering. Um, these shorts I really do love also from Lululemon, just a little pair of running shorts, and then my two pairs of leggings. Nothing to write home about there. My one little fitness tank. This is from Target. Moving on to my bathing suit. This bathing suit I think I showed in a previous video, but I got it from Up West. And talk about sustainable companies. They actually um, do a lot to work with more sustainable fibers um, and are pretty environmentally conscious, which I appreciate. But it's just a classic um, black bralette top. And then we have a beautifully, I want to say it's like a French cut. I don't know. It goes a little higher on the hip, but it's um, not too revealing on the back. I think it's just like perfectly flattering. High-waisted bottoms cutting just about at the belly button. So great little versatile bathing suit. And then I have just one little kind of silk nightgown sort of situation. Moving on to the next category, let's talk about shirts, the everyday wear kind, all the fitness stuff is out of the way and we're keeping that separate. Um, but first of all, I have two little tank tops here. Um, this is just a green high neck tank top and a really helpful tip when it comes to kind of curating a capsule wardrobe is to kind of choose a color scheme. It doesn't all have to be black and white and neutrals even though that's kind of what I prefer. Um, but you can add in color, just think about being consistent with the colors that you add in so that you can pair things together pretty easily. Uh, and then we have, I'm sure y'all have seen me wear this before, uh, it is just a black ribbed tank top as well. Like six bucks at Target, that's what I'm talking about. Great little staples, it doesn't need to cost you an arm and a leg, kind of balances out, especially when you're thrifting a ton of other pieces. So getting into the kind of blousier shirts, well, I guess this one isn't blousey. You've also seen me wear this. It's just a classic soft green t-shirt. I love this one. I actually thrifted it. Um, I don't know why a t-shirt would be this expensive, but I looked it up and it was like a $70 shirt initially. Granted, it's very comfy, but I got it for $2 on clearance and no way I'm paying $70 for that. This shirt I've had for ages and ages, have no clue where I got it. I almost didn't bring it, but then I realized like I always love the way I look when I wear it. Uh, it's just a blousey little pink off the shoulder situation. And I think it will go nicely with a lot of the different bottoms that I'm bringing. So figured it should be thrown in the mix. And then this, it's another black tank top, but it's a little bit dressier. Let me see if... It will show. Yeah, it has some detailing here. Cutouts um, backed up by another layer, but cute little detailing. Uh, and this is really lovely for just a slightly dressier outfit, but goes well with shorts or long pants. Last shirt is just this white, cute little long sleeve cotton shirt. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, also thrifted. I think it Universal Thread. Is that a Walmart brand? I don't know. It might literally be a Walmart shirt, but I got it again for two bucks at my favorite thrift store in Wilmington. Um, and it honestly is just timeless with a pair of jeans or with a pair of shorts or uh, lots of different ways. So those are all the shirts. Now let's get into bottoms. So I'm bringing three different bottoms. For some reason, this was the hardest part for me. I wanted to bring like all of the jeans that I own, but that was not going to work out. So I have two pairs of jeans and then I have one pair of shorts that I'm bringing. This is another thrifted pair or thrifted item. It is actually made well. I got it for $16 at Fairy Circle. These are skinny jeans, which I don't like 
love so much these days but this pair is just super flattering they are the curvy high-rise skinny um, they're super flattering and they're honestly very comfortable for a lot of walking around and I think they'd look very nice with like a looser top what I have been finding recently um, is I don't love to do like a tucked in shirt with the skinnier fitting jeans I'd rather do a looser top with the tighter jeans um, or a tighter tucked in top with the looser jeans and so then here's the second pair that I'm bringing uh, these are Carmore I got them from ThreadUp a few years ago and I was one of those crazy deals I think they were literally like 220 bucks um, I got them for like 25 I felt pretty happy about it but they are distressed holes in the knees, but I often roll up the bottoms here because they are slightly flare, but I like to roll them up just a couple times. Um, and I think they honestly look pretty dressy even though they have the holes in the knees and can be paired um, with one of those plain tank tops or with the dressier shirts as well. Um, and it all looks great as you'll see some examples at the end of the video. And then the last bottom that I have are just these shorts. I have no clue where I got them. I want to say I thrifted them. This is one item where if I see another pair that I really like while we're traveling, I will absolutely act on it and get another pair of shorts. I have two. Both are a little loose on me now. Um, the other pair is especially loose on me and I accidentally ripped like a giant hole um, in them. So uh, these are the ones I'm going to bring uh, and I'll just keep my eyes peeled for another nice pair especially if I can find a cute um, thrift store vintage short vintage store while we're trapped words are hard all right y'all just a couple more categories to go let's talk dresses I'm only bringing two and these aren't uh, quite as versatile as some of the other pieces because I mean I'm not going to be layering them as much um, or pairing other things with them because it is just a dress after all but I brought this long floor length summery kind of beach dressing that's going to look beautiful in southern France uh, and also it will look cute with like a white pair of sneakers just for walking around plus it's a super comfy dress so it can be dressed up or dressed down and I was able to get this dress actually as a hand-me-down from a friend when she was cleaning out her closet and then the second dress I'm bringing is one of my favorites I think I also got this as a hand-me-down from the same friend I just really benefit off her closet cleaning out um, but it is a little blue it's not true denim but it's a blue cotton kind of loose very very cute dress which uh, can be layered a little bit more um, also dressed up or dressed down next category is going to be my outer layers and I think these are really crucial when it comes to having a successful capsule wardrobe because uh, layering is key like I think I said a few minutes ago uh, you can just mix and match so easily if you have different outer layers and then like thinner base layers to go together so first thing I'm bringing is my favorite pullover a uh, nice little polo I guess you call this like a one quarter zip it was also a thrift find. I think it was about $10. $10. I really love the color and uh, it looks nice with leggings and kind of a fitness context, but it also dresses up really nicely. Uh, I love it tucked in to jeans, throwing on some more statement earrings or maybe a necklace and you're good to go. So there's that. Then I just have an oversized linen white shirt here. This is really great for throwing over a tank top and jeans, as is the common theme here, but also as just a bathing suit cover up and throw this over my bathing suit or over a bathing suit and shorts and be good to go. And then the last, actually I have two more, the second to last outer layer, um, outer piece that I have here is a jean jacket. This is probably one of the most popular items in my closet because it looks cute with just about anything you can throw it on top and on the inside here you have really deep pockets which are great if you're traveling walking around a lot because you don't necessarily need to carry a bag with you you can just throw things in the pockets and then last outer layer for real is it going to be this Columbia windbreaker? It's a little bit more practical. It's not fully waterproof, but it is water resistant. It's going to be great for hiking. It's super light, so it doesn't necessarily add heat, uh, but it is protective of the sun if we're outdoors for a long time, if it's windy, all that 
good stuff, that kind of thing. Um, so moving on now to shoes, I am bringing with me two pairs of shoes and we're actually going to go to the Vivo Barefoot store in London and I'm going to try and pick up a pair of white sneakers. was going to order those ahead of time, but then we realized that Vivo Barefoot is in London and that we can just go to the brick and mortar store. So that being said, here are my Vivos, uh, my trainers, which are pretty cute as well with at least more like tighter fitting jeans um, and you know different shirts there they're versatile because I think they're rather low profile a little bit dirty because I wear them all the time but they're great for working out and also just walking around the city and then I'm bringing my Birkenstocks I almost didn't bring these but then I decided that I don't think I can make it four and a half weeks without having sandals as an option. So those are the shoes. And the last thing I wanna show you are just a couple pieces of jewelry that I am gonna be bringing with me. So I am honestly not really a jewelry person and I considered just putting one pair of earrings in my ears and letting that be it for the trip. But then I decided, I think that, um, especially if we go to a nicer dinner, I might regret not having at least a couple options. So I am bringing this pair of silver and opal earrings that my aunt gave me years ago. I think they are just stunning. Definitely one of my favorite pairs. And then my other favorite pair is just this simple pair of silver hoops. Of course, I have my cartilage um, helix ring up there. I have my wedding rings, um, but these are the only two pairs of earrings that I'll be bringing. If I do see a pair of like chunkier gold hoops while we're there, um, I may end up getting those because that is something I'd like to add to my wardrobe, but as a whole, keeping it super simple, uh, it's just so much easier that way. Okay, you made it this far. We are gonna dive into our little outfit montage. And before we get there, I'll just say thanks so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you being here and enjoy. Thank you. 